Ever written code that almost worked, but didn't? Like, you're staring at it, debugging for hours, and you can't quite figure out why your solution isn't right. Welcome to the wonderful world of off-by-one errors, where being one step off might as well be a mile away. You know what's fun about programming? Arrays. You know what's not fun? Messing up the index by just one, and watching your entire solution crumble like a Jenga tower. An off-by-one error happens when your loop your condition or your array access goes one step too far, or not far enough. It's like accidentally skipping the last stair. It feels like you're there, but gravity says nope. Here's a fence. It has three fence panels and three fence posts. Except there aren't. There are four posts. This is called the fence post problem. There's always one more post than there are spaces between the posts. This may sound simple, but can be quite counterintuitive. Let's say you worked from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. How many hours did you work? You'd say three hours. Now let's ask a different question. How many numbers are between 1 and 4? There are four numbers. The confusion comes from what you're counting. When calculating hours, you're counting the spaces between time intervals. But when counting numbers, you're counting the items themselves. Coding has its own version of this, especially with ranges. Consider this code. Here, the code stop before I reach is four, so you iterate three times, like counting the panels. Now, let's make one small change and add an equal sign in the termination condition. Now, we're counting the posts. It all comes down to which loop condition you use. This may sound simple, but it's a very common bug. Next, let's talk about string slicing. Off-by-one errors are especially common when extracting substrings because of how ranges are handled in many programming languages. Here's where things get tricky. Most languages use left-inclusive and right-exclusive ranges for slicing. This means the character at index end isn't included. Adding plus one includes an extra character unintentionally. Next, let's talk about finding the middle element of an array. This is common in coding problems, since integer division always floors the result. It's essential to account for whether you want the middle element to round down or if you'd prefer rounding up. Getting this wrong can lead to subtle off-by-one bugs in your logic. Next, let's talk about a classic algorithm, binary search. It's also notorious for off-by-one errors. Why? It's all about how you handle your loop boundaries. Take a close look at this code. The condition left less than or equal to right can sometimes cause the loop to run one iteration too many, especially if mid isn't adjusted properly. This can lead to incorrect results or even infinite loops. Here, we change the condition to left less than right, ensuring that once the search space is narrowed to one element, the loop stops. Now this is just a basic binary search problem, but there are definitely much harder implementations. How can you master them all? Luckily for you, we have prepared a binary search template with monotonic functions and you can use this algorithm to solve any binary search problem. Check out algamonster.io, link in the description. Finally, let's talk about the climbing stairs problem. This problem is essentially a Fibonacci sequence where each step depends on the two previous steps. It's the classic DP101 problem. Here's an implementation with an issue. The loop goes from two to n, but it should actually go from two to n plus one. Why? Because the array DP is supposed to hold all the values up to and including the number of ways to reach the end step. And the DP array is of size n plus one. By fixing the loop to go from two to n plus one, we ensure that the final step, DPN, is calculated correctly. This small change prevents an off by one error from sneaking in and returning an incomplete result. 